Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a short one and today I'm going to cover the five most important classes that I took as an undergraduate computer science student. So before I begin, I just want to preface and say that I did my undergraduate studies at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. So I'm basing my reactions off that experience. I have a whole nother video on what that was like. So check that out if you haven't. Um, I also want to point out that I went through most of my undergraduate career not really caring too much about computer science. I pretty much just did the classes to do them. Um, I certainly wasn't one of those people that had any background at all prior to college, nor did I do many uh, side projects for fun. Though I did do a couple, I certainly wasn't like a passionate hobbyist at the time. So the first course that I ever took in my first exposure to programming at all and computer science was this class called Intro to Scientific Programming. Uh, it's called Comp 116 at UNC, and essentially this is an introductory programming class. Um, there are two introductory programming classes at UNC at least uh, four years ago, which is when I took it. And those options were Comp 110, which is called Introduction to Programming, and Comp 116, which is what I took, and that is Introduction to Scientific Programming. Um, introduction to Programming is, it used to be taught in JavaScript, though I believe it's in TypeScript now and the class that I'm talking about is taught in Python or MATLAB. I fortunately took it in Python and that was purely by chance just because that section was the section that was available to me. And I think this class is really useful because it exposes you to some data science aspects of uh, programming and UNC does not have a specialized data science concentration nor is, it, nor is there a data science major. So it definitely is pretty useful because it exposes you to working with CSVs as well as programming Python, which I think is becoming increasingly important. Not only did I gain my first exposure to programming with Python, but I also got exposure to matplotlib and pandas, which I'm now realizing are very useful data science tools. The next class that I think is really important is foundations of programming. And at other schools, this may be called object-oriented programming or something of that sort. And this class or a class like this is really important because it exposes you to object-oriented programming languages. And it was my first exposure to Java as well. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve anytime you're learning a new language and coming from Comp 116, which is that scientific prog programming class, I had never seen any objects or classes since we were just working out of Jupyter Notebooks. And at this point, uh, I took this freshman year. So just being able to say I had experience in both Python and Java was extremely helpful as well as understanding how object-oriented languages work. In this class, you also get exposed to some basic design patterns, which at the time I kind of brushed off as not being too important. But as I've had more experience working in mobile development and web development, I'm starting to see that these design patterns are actually pretty useful. And you also get exposed to unit testing in this class, which is also something that I didn't really take seriously until I got a full-time job. The third course that I think is really important to take as a computer science student at the undergraduate level is Data Structures at UNC, that is course title 410. Um, and this class is really, really good interview prep. And I think the majority of uh, interview questions that you get or that are on Leak Code or any type of programming interview practice sites um, they, they mostly revolve around data structures and a little bit of algorithms and analysis. At UNC, algorithm, algorithms and analysis is a separate class from data structures, though I know at other schools they're kind of combined into one. So the fourth class that I found to be really useful was Modern Web Programming. At UNC, it is titled Modern Web Programming, course number 426 though it is certainly not the most modern. Um, you learn JavaScript and jQuery and how to do some CSS as well, but you really miss out on an actual modern web framework. So you don't use, use Vue.js, you don't use React or Express. 
But nevertheless, it is still extremely useful to be able to say that you've taken a modern web programming class and put it on your resume, as well as being able to connect and pull data from an API um, onto your front end. So just for that alone, I would say it's pretty useful and one of the better classes to take. The last class that I want to highlight is a files and databases course at UNC. The course number is Comp 521 Files and Databases. And this class is extremely helpful if you want to be a full stack developer or a backend developer. Um, having taken web programming, which is the fourth class that I mentioned, I really felt like I needed to get some experience working with databases. And this class was just that. It really focused heavily on SQL, which by no means is a bad thing, but it didn't have any programming exercises with Mongo or other popular NoSQL databases. So it was a little dated, but being able to say that you know how to work with databases and you understand database design um, was certainly really helpful, especially since I am now a full stack developer and I find myself working with SQL databases quite commonly. So those are my top five classes, but it varies drastically person to person, as well as by job role. It really depends on what your goals for the degree are, as well as what your desired outcomes are. So I just wanted to have that kind of disclaimer before I close, and hopefully you found this video enjoyable.